Hi, I'm Zdenka and today I'm gonna look into using this particular hardware with you. It is an amazing graphic tablet from XP Pen, it is Artist Pro 16. And we gonna work in the module editor together and I'm gonna show you how to use this tablet for your retouches and for your little photo manipulations. Uh, it is as easy as using your keyboard and a mouse. It's even more pleasant for your wrist and it genuinely is a little bit more satisfying to work on a graphic tablet. For me, it feels like I'm a painter because I'm literally painting into my photography. And as I said, it is very pleasant for your hands and it is very pleasant for your brain as well. I will take this picture that I have here. And as you can see, this lady here has got this beautiful hair being very dramatic, but we've got the helper here who is running away. I'd like to thank the helper for his sacrifice, but now he has to go away. So I have chosen another picture where he is not, but she doesn't have the beautiful hair. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take her head from this picture and put it into this picture. I'll again do it in the model editor. So uh, we need to let uh, the thing process and then we can start with the selection tools. Um, working with selection tools is again very very easy because the movement requires zero clicking. Like on the mouse, you need to click your, your, your finger a lot, but when you're holding a pen in your, in your hand, then you're just like easily moving on the picture, choosing whatever you want. So I don't need to be precise with this selection. If I wanted to be precise, I would have to go a little bit uh, closer. I'd have to do smaller movements. I don't need that now, right now. So I just chose around her head. And if I wanna refine the selection, I can of course increase radius a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna apply clicking on these things works just as if you had the mouse. Now we have this selection and I need to control copy and then later control paste it. So because I use those shortcuts a lot, I have set them onto my tablet right now. And uh, it is right here. So I just push the button and the tablet even shows you what you just used. So I used it to control C my selection and now I'm gonna move into the other picture and I'm just gonna control paste it. Control pasting will be as easy as control copying because again, I set it to my tablet to do as when I ask. So just one click and my selection is there. Now I just grab it with the pen and I move it wherever I need. I can move on the picture clicking the middle mouse. I can try to hit it perfectly. I think that would be done. And there you go. The girl has a new hair. Quite easy, isn't it? Now, if I want to remove the rest of the helper here, uh, what I can do is I can again wrap the clone stamp. I'll increase opacity density a little bit. I can change my brush size right here so it's a bit easier. Press the control and just paint him away. As you see, I was a matter of seconds to remove him. You could remove the arm the same way, of course, quite easily. So the selection tools, it's again, very easy to work with them. You just use your pen instead of the mouse. Now this picture could use a little magic. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to add a little bit of magic. Now I'm gonna add layer. I'm gonna go into my drawing tools and I'm gonna choose let's say purple because Jennifer has purple magic we're gonna choose purple and we're gonna blur it a little bit and now I would like to have my brush size bigger so I just rolled a little scroll here and I can start painting I'll paint in a little bit of purple so that when I insert the magic it has some colorful background now I set the layer to soft light, decrease 
a little bit of visibility and I have some colorful preparation for the effect to be inserted. Uh, I can also add a little bit of a light in there like this and setting it not to soft light but to hard light. Uh, no, to vivid light, yes. And I can, again, adjust the visibility of the layer. If I think it's too round, uh, I easily go to adjustments. I blur it using the Gaussian style like this. Yes, I think that could do. Yes, I think that could do. Do I apply? And as you see, all but we're not gonna talk about the things I'm doing here. It's not about teaching you how to work with the software. It's about showing you how easily it is done with the tablet once you're working with it. Just FYI, I am using this tablet for roughly an hour and I already feel very natural with it. So for you, it will not take long to adjust. I'm gonna insert the fire now and I need to set it to screen. Now I can adjust the size of it, I can put it wherever I need on the picture, um, into the hand preferably of course. Now I want to change it into purple because it needs to fit the whole character. So I have set the layer, go into adjustment, find um, color changes and I'm gonna set it to purple using hue, like from default. I, if I move here into the hue, it is purple, perfect, apply. I've got a beautiful purple flame in her arm. Now I'm gonna duplicate it. One of the shortcuts I've set to my tablet is V because it moves me into the move and transform option. So I just grab the other fire I just created, move it into the other arm and it is pretty much done. As you see, working with it is really easy. Um, one thing that I want to show you now is the eraser because the pen has eraser on its other side and you can ease it, you can use it quite easily. For example, if that fire is, as you can see the fire here, oh, I can actually use the scroll for this. Perfect. So the fire is on the sword. No, I don't want that because it's supposed to be behind the sword. One of the things how I can do it is that I just go into drawing tools and I have the correct layer selected and I would like to change the brush size into the size of the sword and now I start erasing it just like that and it is behind the sword because deleting the part of the layer was super easy using the eraser on the other side of the pen so that is an amazing function you just need to turn it around and start erasing just how you do it when you have an actual pen in your hand and now, one last thing that I would like to talk about is pen pressure. If I wanted to paint something into the photography, I can set diameter and blur into the pen pressure, which means that if I just tinkle, tickle it a little bit, I do very small lines like this, but if I put my pressure into it, I go to all the 8K, then I change those two things diameter and blur that I have set. I can change multiple things. I can have multiple things selected. Like when I choose opacity and I just tickle it, it isn't shown very much. The opacity is low, but if I really go hard into it, you can see the opacity grows because it is set in this little setting pen pressure here and it does whatever you tell it to do. So if you ever need to work with these tools, it is really doing whatever you want from it just by you being either very gentle to it or pressing hard. It really is up to you what you want to do with it. So, the functions are pretty much unlimited. You really get used to it quite quickly. You can see the adjustments or um, the, the, the edits are done really quickly once you got it in your hand and you can get used to it really, really fast. 
Uh, you can set many things. It is due to this very simple application that you just download into your computer and you can just start working on your pictures. So, thank you very much for watching and we really hope that you have a lot of fun trying out the graphic tablet.